Hello, my witches and gents out there. Welcome to Melissa's Mixology. This is the official Halloween drink. This is more, I would say, for effect factor here. Not so much for the drink, but we like to mix it up a little bit. So today's drink is just going to be really simple. It is going to be a vodka soda or vodka tonic, however you want to do it. But that's just the base of the drink. But what is going to make this drink so amazing, this is crazy, I'm going to tell you, is this. It's called Butterfly Pea Flower. Okay, it's a tea. I've never heard of this before. It is so cool. You got to check it out on YouTube or Pinterest. So it's called Butterfly Pea Flower. It's out of Thailand. I got it on Amazon. So what you do is you brew the tea and it makes a blue, like a really, really dark blue color. You can adjust the tea leaves however you want. This is really dark I made, okay? So what I did is I just made a simple syrup and we've talked about this before. Simple syrup is equal parts water equal parts sugar. I melted the sugar down on the stove and then I just put probably a tablespoon of these tea leaves inside and let it steep and then it got to turn blue. But it, what is really, really cool about this is that, and I'm hoping this works on camera, so keep your fingers crossed. So you can see that it is blue, but when you add lemon juice or lime juice to it, it changes, okay? So here we go, let's see if it'll if this will work. So I'm hoping you can see, I'm gonna give it another good squeeze of the lime juice. And do you see it? It's starting to change into purple. So let me just go down here, I'm gonna give it a little stir. Okay, and so now you can see it's 100% purple. And all it is, is it goes from blue to purple um, when you add lime or lemon juice to it. So what I saw online that was so cool was that a lady was making lemonade. And so she had her lemonade all made and then she put a little bit of this in the bottom of the glass. And then when she poured it, um, it started turning colors. And it's really cool because it goes slow in the glass. So I thought for Halloween, that would be so fun for kids if you wanted to make that, you know, minus the vodka, of course. But make like a fun lemonade and then you can brew the tea and then add a little bit to it and it changes kind of colors. So because we're so witchy here on Halloween, I went to a store online. It's like a bartender store. I had no idea that this even existed. I saw a gentleman on Instagram and he's called the garnish guy and he does all these crazy drinks and I saw this um, vessel, I can call it a vessel. He was making something called the witch's broom, I think it was called. So it was so cool, but here it is. I've already mixed up my drink and I've added the tea and the lime to it just because it's so hard to get in here. But my friends, I have a magic ball. Oh my God, this is so cool. So you fill it from the bottom and then you put this big cork in it and it comes with this glass. But how witchy, how witchy is that, okay? So again, it's just a vodka tonic. Um, simple recipes are online and I'll put the link for Amazon where I got this. And then you just add lime or lemon juice to it. Oh my goodness. Wow. Well, you all, I hope you have an amazing um, Halloween. If you have kids, I hope there's a way that they can go trick-or-treating. If not, I mean, make yourself a little gin and tonic and then add some of this tea and have a witchy, witchy time. If you like what you see, go ahead and click down below to subscribe. I always appreciate it. I fix the comments so the comments are available. If there's something that you would like to have um, sampled here on Melissa's Mixology, just let me know. All right, take care, my friends, and happy Halloween.